Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly scopes. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Pisces, there seems to be a little bit of a caution um, energy or a cautious, suspicious energy with you having some strong doubts or sus suspicions about situations, especially concerning your family structures, your marital situations, your traditional uh, settings of um, relating with people around you. There could go, could go from either intimate partners, I feel, or family uh patterns and, and and history that could be coming up and bringing some um some difficulty knowing what it's going on really there because there may have been or there may be over the month of July an energy of finding out something that can upset you or it can sadden you or disappoint you at some level. I don't feel that it's something huge. I don't feel that there is, that is something um, very negative, but I, I, I feel that it's something that will awake you maybe to the reality. It's like a reality check or a wake-up call towards something that you were creating too much of um, uh, an illusion uh, rooted in this fantasy type of uh, energy that you were holding, that you were holding or picturing about this. So it's like uh, for a while, whichever the situation is about, everything was beautiful, everything was um, like a fairy tale story, the happy, happily ever after. So there's a sense that you can start July with that sense of contentment still. And still finding good moments of joy and good moments of ease and happiness with those you love. Finding some real blessings in the company of uh, what you perceive to be your family. People that are related to you at, with a close, intimate bond. Um, but it, there may be something that happens or that you find out or that you start questioning that puts you in the place of defensiveness and trust issues, a problem trusting or a difficulty in trusting something that is either being pre presented to you, that it's being asked from you, or that you are asking towards others and they are not giving you the answer that you like or the answer that would fit this beautiful picture that you were holding on for a while. And I feel that if you are not careful in how you are managing, because this is also about managing the situation right, you may be um, consuming yourself in lonely moments of despair where you, you create a lot of difficulty um, getting yourself into a place of peace and harmony as you would wish, as you would like from that initial state of bliss that you have felt recently. And there's a sense that there's something about um, family history or tradition that it's here related somehow that I don't know how to um, give it to you in a more specific way. It's something about the traditional heritage of um, ways of doing things that are that are coming from your ancestors that need some um, awareness from your side either to change it or to integrate it in other ways and this could come in many forms in the relationship you have with your children in the relationship you have with your husband or with your significant other in the relationship you have with your father and your mother or any type of significant person in your life that that belongs to that unity of um, that unity of and that that wholeness feeling that you like when you are relating with others but 
I don't know if this is even just a matter of uh, you feeling very disappointed about um, about a behavior that goes out from that tradition, and this is testing your ability to become more flexible or more more open to the new energy that wants to come in in those family history um, situations, but. There's a chance that also is very related to a type of specific relation that it's that you were creating too much of a fantasy or you were pre, you were deceived in some ways to um, project this very beautiful story that something was already I'm sorry something was already accomplished when in reality it, it isn't. There's still some decisions and choices here and evaluation that it's going to be very important to get you out of this place of um, difficulty in trusting because you also have here the two of swords as the outcome and the two of pentacles in what you are aware of so you are aware or you will be over the month of July very aware that there's choices and decisions which could include partnerships um, uh, there's choices and decisions that really need to be uh, made and you are still here in the process of finding your balance and trying to, to understand what it is that you should be doing. And I want to tell you that it's a month of finding some stillness and finding some moments on your own to contemplate. And actually, contemplation by activities that inspire you and activities that bring you to that place of a new page, that new page that you want to write in your life, that... Um, fresh energy that you want to manifest into this issue or that uh, re-energizing that you need to make the, uh, the proper decisions uh, forward in your life. So when I was meditating among some things, I also saw that a beautiful woman swimming on the sea and getting out of there very refreshed and sitting on the beach just contemplating the landscape. And getting a lot of insights uh, within that moment of um, unity with nature and with elements that really speak to her. So engage when you feel stressed, when you feel very sad, when you feel uh, that uh, nervous energy creeping in or that, that tension, that difficulty in believing or trusting or letting in the good uh, energy that is present either because uh, you disbelieved it or because you don't want to accept the different ways that it has to offer to you, do something that awakens your spirit, that fire, passionate um, inspiration in you, because it can help you um, contemplate and get the answers that you need and the guidance that you need to make the proper decisions and to understand the path forward. But Avoid the temptation of, of uh, being in a place of denial or want, wanting to put the blindfold and wanting to elevate the swords of conflict to protect your heart. Avoid not making decisions to, uh, to not hurt anybody, including yourself, because that avoidance will attract the circumstance that will hurt all those that are involved in the story so there's a strength in you that is required here to compromise and find a common ground of integrity and honesty within your own needs to uh, protect and secure yourself and the needs of others that may be involved in the situation that seems to be um, to be uh, causing you some difficulty but I also feel that you, this is more like um, a refusal. It's like a refusal on your part to accept something. It's a, a dismissal, a complete dismissal of something that wants a new energy or a good energy that wants to come your way. But because it may be different from what you are used to or from what your ideals um, desire, you may really dismiss a good opportunity to find some balance and some some management of your uh, priorities at this time in your life. So really pay attention to how you are in the present time 
handling the situations without denying them, without becoming blind to what is in front of you, including becoming blind to, to what is within you, being asked to come forward. So Pisces, I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.